what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is zoe um i am a cash budgeter and i am working on paying off my debt all while building a savings um, i just started a couple months ago earlier this year so if you're interested in content like that and cash uh, cash stuffing videos then go ahead and subscribe which I need to give a huge thank you to all of my subscribers right now. Um, I looked before I started filming and I currently have 340 subscribers, which to me is just awesome. Thank you so much for sticking around and uh, liking my videos. Um, so also just a, um, an apology, I guess. For my voice, I am currently uh, fighting the flu and um, not feeling too well, but I wanted to make sure I got a video out this week since today, <clears throat> excuse me, since today is payday. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I should be stuffing $991 today. Excuse me, we'll start by counting. So we have 100, 200, 300. Three fifty, four hundred, four fifty, five hundred, five fifty. Oh geez. Five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six thirty, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, seven ten, seven thirty, seven fifty, seven seventy, seven ninety. 810, 830, 850, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. Not having that many fives threw me off. Okay. Let me scoot all this down again. Okay. So we'll start with this binder. I did start saving all of my receipts. Um, there is usually a, a common re, um, receipt app. Um, however, I don't have the one that most people use. I use one called Receipt Jar. Um, if you're interested in you know, any receipt app where you scan your receipts and you get points and money for it, I'll have a little code down in the description in the description uh, for the one that I use. Um, if you're also interested, I use the Acorns app, which is an automatic savings app, automatic investing app. So you're saving and investing at the same time. It's super easy. You can also have one uh, set up for your kids as well. Um, and then there is also a link in my description for um, a survey website that I use to make extra money on the side here and there called Pure Profile. That will be linked down below as well if you're interested in doing surveys and making a little bit of money from it. Um, I try to always have those links in my description of my videos. So if you're ever uh, interested in, you know, checking out um, apps like that, then, you know, just check out any of my videos. So I have receipts, I will scan those into my app later on, and we'll start with coffee here. So coffee is going to be getting $40. 
Gas is getting $80. Groceries still has money in it. $21. Um, I will take out the one dollar to save um, and then I'm actually going to keep this 20 in there just to kind of roll over um, and groceries is going to be getting 60 so I believe I did a 50 and a 10 when I got my change hopefully if not I'll come back and change it um, and then daycare for my son is getting $135, which is going to be, uh, let's see, 50s and then 10s. One, two, three, four, five, and five, just because we have to break it up for the next two weeks until I get paid again. So. 50, 100, 110, 20, 35 for my son's daycare. Well, his sitter. And then kids, um, I did start an envelope for my son um, just for him to have a little bit of money or for me to have a little bit of money to spend on him. Um, usually his like diapers and wipes and everything, I include in the money with groceries so we can just get it at the grocery store. Um, but it doesn't always, you know, work out that way. And then if things pop up um, and I don't have money budgeted anymore for it, then, um, you know, so I don't want to run into that. And otherwise, every other time, you know, my husband purchases as well. So it's not that big of a deal, um, but also just for, you know, little things that he needs here and there. Um, his birthday and Christmas are also at the, around the same time. And so the whole rest of the year, you know, he doesn't necessarily get gifts or new toys or little trinkets or anything like that. Um, so I kind of wanted to start his own envelope. Um, and he is going to be getting $30. Not that he's going to be getting new toys every single week, but just for little things here and there. So I have a little bit of money for him. And then my coins. Here is my ooh, dusty coin container. I do always try to use my coins when I'm using my cash um, so that I can pay an exact change if I'm able to. So some weeks I have very little change. Some weeks I have more. That's looking good. Okay. So that's it for my wallet binder. This is the one that I carry with me daily. And then this binder is more of my bigger savings envelopes that I keep at home just for safekeeping. So rent is going to be getting $300, which is all hundreds right here. Savings is going to be getting $30. My bank never gives me like nice crispy bills. But that's okay. And then I do have a tracker for my savings. This is just a little something that I made on, I think, Microsoft Word at work one day <laughs> and I just made it very basic um, because I don't have like, you know, formal trackers made by anyone. Um, but this is what it looks like and it's just something fun for me to fill out while I'm saving. So 
Is there a 30 on there? Yeah, there is at the top. There we go. Debt is going to be getting 30. And same thing here, I do have a tracker. Um, I still have money in here from last paycheck uh, that I'm going to be using to pay for some of these tolls, um, just as my current focused debt, um, but I have not done that yet. So with this $30 as well, I'll probably go ahead and deposit it and then make these payments soon. Um, and then we'll see. I'll probably mark off whichever one I end up paying. But so right now, debt has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67 dollars to go towards paying off some tollway debts. Christmas is going to be getting 20. Twenty Christmas now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. And I do have a Christmas tracker as well. Because I only get paid twice a month, um, next paycheck I may start ramping this up to bigger amounts um, just since I'm only at $100 right now. $100, you know what? You make, you make work what you have. Um, but since it's still pretty early before the Christmas season, um, I'm still a couple months away, yeah, probably next paycheck, I'll start adding more to this. Date night is going to be get, getting $20. And it only has five in there, so it now has 25. Our um, wedding anniversary is coming up, so we'll probably be just doing a, a regular date night for that. Birthdays and gifts is getting 10 so it has 10, 25, 25 in birthdays and gifts. Fun is going to be getting 15. Where we live, there's a lot of county fairs. <laughs> um, and so we've been going to those a lot this summer. Vacation is going to be getting 10. And it now has $30. We don't have any vacation plans, so this is just going to be slowly built up. Car maintenance is getting 20. And this is also for um, like our car registration, my car registration and whatnot. Um, so oil changes, all that stuff. It has $40 now. which my registration isn't due till next year, so that's all good. Insurance, okay. Insurance, um, we have health insurance, and then separate is our dental and vision. Um, so I try to stuff this with the two separate bills in mind. Um, so first I'm going to stuff 60 with a 50 and a 10. And then I'm going to stuff 46, 20, 40, and I believe I did all ones. Oops. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, okay. So insurance has 50, 70, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 106 for now. And this will all be for next month. Cell phone is going to get 20. And it now has $30. Uh, this is a new envelope for beauty, um, which I did schedule a hair appointment for next month. So it is going to be getting a 50 and it now has 60. So I got to start saving big for that one. And then kids clothing for the fall time is going to be getting 10. and it now has 20. And I have an extra $5. Maybe I just miscounted when I went to the bank. I don't know. I'll either figure it out when I look back at this video and see where I missed $5 or it was just I miscounted when I went to the bank and got my change. Either way, that is all for today five extra dollars and then we do have this one rolled over which at this point in my budgeting I've never had money left over in my regular envelopes because I budget pretty much to like a zero based budget um, and assign a place for every single one of my dollars even if it's just as a buffer um, so I don't tend to have money left over, but it's only $1. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll just throw it in with my coins. Maybe I'll start a $1 or like a leftover envelope, um, or I'll just throw it in one of my other envelopes and it's only a dollar, but it adds up if I keep having rollovers. So there we go. That is all for my video. Thanks for sticking through this with my voice and me being sick and everything. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here and watching my videos and also subscribing. It's, it's exciting to me that I have over 300 subscribers. <laughs> um, and it's just so fun to be part of this community. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for checking out my video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.